All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson 18. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue subtracting uh, by eight from the teens. So we're just continuing that. Uh, we're moving from, we're continuing with the, the, the strategies uh, that are gonna lead towards number sense and fluency. So we're still drawing pictures. Uh, we're still crossing things off. We're still using the number bonds and the subtract from 10 technique. But all of this is to help students develop number sense and fluency uh, and develop a strategy so that they can just immediately, ultimately, see the problem and immediately say the answer um, as if they memorized it, but really they didn't. They just have profound number sense. So let's get going. So the directions say draw five group rows and cross out to solve, write the two plus addition sentence. Now, uh, parents and teachers, you have no idea what a two plus addition sentence is. I'm going to show you what that uh, means in a second. So let's get going. So Annabelle has 13 goldfish, eight goldfish, eight the, oh, that's a little confusing. Eight goldfish, eight fish food. Um, how many goldfish did not eat fish food? So let's start by writing the number sentence. So we've got 13 minus eight. It doesn't say that we're supposed to uh, write the number sentence, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so they're specifically, however, telling us to use the drawing technique. So we are going to create our simulated um, 10 frame one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there is my right here is my simulated uh, ten frame, and they since they told us to use the cross out method, we're going to cross out eight because it says subtract eight. So there's five and three down here. Now, what is this two two plus addition sentence? What they're saying is. They're saying, well, you've got two remaining in your 10 frame plus the original three as part of the 13. So two plus three equals five. So that means 13 minus eight is five. So there are five goldfish that did not eat the fish food. So the two plus addition sentence is this thing down here. You have your two remaining from the 10 frame plus the original three from the 13. Parents and teachers, ultimately, students are not going to write this down. This is not part of the standard algorithm. Ultimately, we want students to just look at 13 minus 8 and say, oh, that's 5. But not from memorizing. We want them to say, hmm, 8 plus 2 more gives us 10, plus the original 3 gives us 5. Uh, so they're going to like use profound number sense to get the answer. So it's going to look like they've memorized it, and maybe down the road they really will, uh, but we don't want it just be rote memorization that's meaningless. We want it to come from a position of number sense. Another example, there were 19 turtles swimming in the pond, and some of the turtles climbed up onto the dry land, uh, onto the dry rocks, and now there are only eight turtles swimming. How many turtles are on the dry rocks? All right, so the idea is we are going to do 19 turtles swimming in the pond. Some of them uh, climbed up into the dry rocks, and now there are only eight turtles. So we want to figure out how many turtles are on the dry rocks. So 19 minus 8 is our system. What's really interesting about this is it kind of breaks the rule of what we're talking about uh, because there is no borrowing that's necessary. Oh, I use the old term, borrowing. But the idea is we don't need to decompose a 10 and a 9 here because we could see 9 ones take away 8 ones. But let's draw the picture anyway. We're going to honor the rules, the, the directions given. So we're going to start by modeling 19 with our 10 frame. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So there is our 19. And then they said cross off eight. So we are going to cross off eight. So the five plus the three. And then the two plus sentence. We've got the original two from the 10 frame, or the two left over from the 10 frame, plus the nine that we had as part of the 19. 
So 2 plus 9 is 11. So our answer is 11. There are 11 turtles on the dry rocks. Now, I don't feel like this is a particularly efficient technique, but at this point, we're not developing efficiency. At this point, we're trying to develop number sense. The idea that 8 is 2 away from completing the full 10 frame and using that 10 as our benchmark number. So that's really our current goal is helping students understand that 10 is our benchmark, that two is eight, uh, 8 is 2 away from 10. Uh, ultimately, efficiency is going to come later, but at this point we're trying to build number sense. Here we're just supposed to find the missing number by drawing our pictures. So let's draw. And we're going to draw 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we are going to, in this case, ooh, notice it says subtract 9. So we are going to cross off 9. All 5 plus 4 down here. So our addition sentence is 1 more from the 10 plus the 1 extra. 1 plus 1 is 2. Although for this question, the count on method might have been more efficient. Over here, again, we're subtracting by 9. So we are going to model our, whoa, we are going to model, well, I'll just do it there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there is our 14, and we are going to cross off our 9, leaving us with one more in the 10 frame plus the original 4, which is 5. And the last slide for this video, we get a choice. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the picture, but then we get to cross out or use number bonds to solve this problem. So there were 14 people at home, and 10 people were watching a football game, 4 people were playing a board game, 8 people left, how many people stayed? So they're kind of suggesting that we... Um, well, let's start by writing the, whoa, let's start by writing the number sentence. It's 14 minus 8. So there's our number sentence. And they, um, we're going to draw the problem. So there is our dots. Now we have a choice. So our choice is we could cross off 8 of our dots over here, uh, but I'm in the mood for the number bond. So let's do that. So let's take that 14, and we're going to decompose that 14 to be 4 and 10. So now that we've decomposed 14 to 4 and 10, we can say, well, 10 minus 8 is 2, and then 2 plus the original 4 from the 14 gives us 6. So 14 minus 8 is 6. Now, what would that look like if we were to draw the picture? Well, we would go down here, we would cross off 8, and then we would have 2 more in our 10 frame, plus the 4 left over from the 14, and then we would add 2 plus 4, which is exactly what we did up here. 10 minus 8 is 2. That's right here. 10 minus 8 is 2. Then we add it in the 4 over here, or we add in the 4 here, we get 2 plus 4 is 6. Ultimately, students are just going to do 14 minus 8 is 6 and kind of have it memorized, uh, but really it's coming from a point of number sense. And that wraps up first grade module 2, lesson 18, subtracting by 8 using the drawing method or the number bond method.